Oh, by the way, helicopter is passing by as well. Let's see what's gonna happen. Yep, I'm gonna zoom on. <laughs> all right, all right, it's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today I have an exciting unboxing video for you. I have Lorex's 4K Ultra HD security camera to unbox. Let's go ahead and talk about what I expect from a proper security camera. The picture quality is very important when it comes to security cameras. They do not only deter, but sometimes we need to use them to find evidence. Think of a night situation. You know, most of the cameras, our phones, whatever, they don't perform as good in low light situations or when the shades are too complicated but apparently this guy has hdr and those things will also work fantastically again i will put the all of these claims into test what else do we expect okay the ease of installing is equally required in ease of use i want it to be easy to use i don't want to set up a control room of some sort in my small house i want to have an easy access from an app and i want the similar ease of mind when I'm abroad as well. A good, easy to use app and access from another location, basically online access is important for me. If you're not interested in online access, apparently these guy can be kept only in-house and all your system does not need to go outside of your house. But I'm interested in checking out what's going on. One more important thing that I want is that the smart recording is an important thing because I cannot spend hours and hours to look for a couple of frames that's why it is good to know that these guys are also offering motion sensor activation for recording purposes okay i think i've been talking a lot already let's go ahead and unbox these babies so they actually the system that i have here is the four camera system i have two dome cameras and two bullet cameras but my nvr basically the brains of the operation that dvr looking kind of thing but it's called nvr can support up to eight cameras, but a system of four will be enough for my use. By the way, there will be things that I would... There will be things that I would... Thank you, GorillaPod, you're amazing. When there are things that I wanna show you in detail, I'll just use my GoPro. Before I start, let me tell you that this video is sponsored by Lorex and they were kind enough to send me a unit. All right, the unboxing started, of course, with my famous white ceramic knife that I do this unboxing. <laughs> I like the way it dropped. Here, they're all on the ground now. Okay, let's unbox the brains of the operation, actually. Basically, let me show you what it looks like. I think it's an HDMI cable and the power outlet. And what else is in here? Oh, a mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense because it has its own operating system of some sort. So once you plug it on the external monitor, I think this might come handy. Okay, let's move on. Ooh. So I have two bullet cameras, two dome cameras, the DVR is extras, and the DVR itself. I don't think that anyone would feel uncomfortable with um, keeping this around the house. I mean, look at the slim profile, like this, yep. And let me see what else is available in the box. So basically, as I expected, you have everything you need here. You have the installation kit, even with the Allen wrench, Allen wrench, sorry. Um, you have your screws, you have your guidances, you have your woo -hoo -hoo, 30 meters of cabling. That is fantastic. So you don't even need to buy a cable for yourself. And you don't even need a screwdriver, apparently you have these, but still I think for the screws, you're gonna need one. But if you're installing something of this caliber, you should have a toolbox. Let's see what else do we have here. We have, oh, we have the dome camera itself. Let me grab it. Uh -huh. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just unwrap this because yeah. Oh. Um the material quality is really good. If you're interested, you can go ahead and check this cameras out in Lorex's website. It's a pretty cool website. Oh, by the way, let me show you this. Here is the bullet camera. If you want to know more about the size of it, this is the size. Um, I think this part is modifiable so you can actually cover it unless you need this open camera top. You can protect it against the sun or if it's already under shade or something, you don't need to do that. But this looks pretty, pretty cool. Initially, I can't wait to put it up and run it. Okay, so I couldn't resist the temptation of setting it up. Let me show you how it goes. It's actually a bit messy. <laughs> there are boxes everywhere, but here it goes. You need to connect it to your router. They actually give a cable, but my router has this cable. That's why I just put it there. And then basically each ethernet port uh, gives energy and also receives the data from the cameras. And as you can see, it's a very long cable, but I didn't need it. I put one here actually just to demonstrate how this thing works of course you need the electric cable which I just plugged in and now the system is up um, it was actually not that difficult as you see each camera comes with a 30 meter uh, cable of their own as we've seen in the unboxing and I just put the others one is here one is there so this is the view and I will show you the photos I captured from the security cameras. All right guys, so this is what the main app looks like. Once you are connected everything, I am just using three cameras for demonstration purposes. And this is online now. I am not connected to anything. I could have been anywhere in the world and this will be working, which is I think fantastic thing. Imagine I left home and I wanna see what's going on. I left my dog at home. And I'm gonna show you why I set up the cameras the way they are currently. Let's start with the most awkward one. <laughs> so this is actually a dome camera looking up because I have the highest floor and you see my balcony is not covered. And I from time to time hear some people walking around because we have a rather nice view. I'll show you the view pretty soon. By the way, you can enhance the picture quality and I think that's how it goes up. Look, this is enhanced quality. And the best thing is, say, I actually see someone here. I just zoom in and get their beautiful faces on camera. It is very important because, again, because of this nice Manhattan skyline view, I've seen people taking photos there. I've seen people sitting there. Some even tried to jump to my balcony because, you know, there's a couch and it looks cool. And they think this is not high enough, but God, I don't want to say what I went through. But basically, um, this is an angle, and this is a very deterrent angle for me. I'll keep one there. I can maybe show you why I placed it there. It's pretty cool. Okay, so when you go back, you can see that I have another camera placed in the balcony, but this could only be placed here when I miss the view, to be frank with you. I don't think that I'll keep it there, but let me enhance the view. Um, you will adore what you see from this camera. Look, isn't this just gorgeous? And the best thing is you can zoom in to the World Trade Center if you want. This is live video, by the way. I'm hearing a helicopter passing by. Let's see if I'll be able to zoom into one. Maybe it's going for another direction. 
So I can zoom into Chrysler Building or the Empire State and I, I mean, look at this quality. This is just amazing. You can see the branches and you can see the, you know, the veins of the leaves. So imagine seeing, you know, someone's face. It will definitely be captured by the camera. Um, what else can I say? Um, okay, let's go and jump into the in-house camera that I placed. All right, so by the way, from this view, you can easily see which camera is seen where. There's this uh, small photo of the last thing they see when they were, I think, online. I'm not sure. But it could be some footage that they keep there for a while and maybe change every six hours. I'm not familiar with the tool yet, but I pretty much like it so far. Let's go ahead and check the view inside of the house. Oh, how did I do that? I was going to click on this one. Now you can easily see, I don't know if we can actually read my weekly schedule here. Oh God, we can. Um, Unbelievable. This is my face and my beautiful girlfriend's face. Um, what else is available here? Yes, these are leftovers from our 4th of July party. And let me surprise you with something. Uh, am I on the shot? One step more. I'm reaching out now. I'll be in the shot soon. And this is a very, very wide angle. You see, this is my hand. I'm doing a peace sign now, and this is a very wide angle. So now let's test the speed of the reaction of the camera. I'm gonna make a fist in three, two, one. Hop, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Wow, okay, two seconds. It's a, it's a rather fine time. Apart from that, you can zoom into things. Yes, this is my gear. I have my DJI Spark there. That's my pair of and these we actually keep in the balcony. Let me show you the snapshot because once we enhance the quality, we can actually go ahead and take a snapshot and we save the image. Snapshot is, snapshot is easy to take. And you know, you see something funny, you can just go ahead and snap it. The same applies for me to hear. You know, I hear some noise from this, uh, from the, whatever it's called, from the roof. And if I, you know, hear someone, see someone, I can just snap it and save the image. I can just zoom into their cute faces and snap it. Boom. Uh, for anyone out there who's trying to understand how good uh, security cameras are for us, uh, for the wrong reasons, they are pretty good. Oh, sorry. Let's go ahead and see how we actually find some footage that we already took. Going for events, you see? What's an event, for example? Oh, this is when I was setting up the camera. If you want to use the time frames and check out the footage from an earlier date, you can go ahead and actually do that. Here is the footage from four hours ago. Yeah, looks pretty cool. All right, I think you get the idea. You got the idea with the app. We can just go ahead and take a last look at how everything is looking. The live mode is pretty good, actually. Then you can see everything at once. For me, I prefer that to be over there because the rest of my cameras are rather safer locations. Oh, this is me. <laughs> okay. All right. I think this will be all for the app. Okay. So the house is almost pitch black dark now. Like you can tell from the iPhone what is visible and what is not, and look how Lorex is performing. Let's go. This is me walking in the house. Um, I'm quite far away actually from the camera, but let's zoom in to see my face. Yes, I mean, people can easily recognize me with this. Look how I'm looking. To the side. Yep, these are really not pictures to identify people. And let me go ahead and get closer to the camera. 
closer I get, maybe I will gain some visibility over the iPhone 6 as well, but look. Oh, I look scary. <laughs> I kind of scared myself. <laughs> I mean, wow, I didn't know that I looked so scary on the camera. Okay, so let's check how does the other camera look. Let's go ahead and go to the camera on the other side. Let's enhance, because I think enhancing helps a lot. Now, let's see. This is Lorex 4K um, camera's footage. You can see it does even have it even has some colors here, you can tell, that is red. Whereas the other guy has nothing visible. I mean, look, this part is missing from the iPhone big time. It's, a, it's basically pitch black. There's nothing here. Also, this part of the town is missing. So you can tell that the nighttime performance is another level. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao. Hello, what's your name? Hello. Hello, what's your name? Hello. Hello, goodbye. Hello. Hello, goodbye. Hello. Hello, goodbye. Hello. Hello, goodbye. Hello.